Hey guys, El Flamingo here, your coach of the Cooper Crab Hammers. Today we are going through our new draft for the Great Lakes Draft League. Um, we're into season three. Um, I'm one of the moderators there, and I am looking after mainly the Quillfish division, which I'm also participating in. Um, so pretty standard as most of the draft leagues I've done before. You know, we go on a snake order, start at number one, go to number whatever, and then we come back again. Um, so yeah, this is my first uh, cart draft league for uh, Scarlet and Violet. Um, so my plan going into this is I wanted to uh, at least try out a couple of the new Pokemon. Um, and yeah, that's about all I had in mind. <laughs> I didn't really have a whole, whole lot of plan going in. Just kind of stick to how I normally draft, like some good bulky offense, get a little bit of speed control. And... Uh, and also just get some annoying mods. Um, so, I was fifth pick overall. Um, and so when it got to me, I pick uh, I picked this guy first. As, as my uh, compulsory tier one, I got Brute Bonnet. Um, I wanted to make sure I did get redirection. Uh, but I also wanted to get something that was a bit more versatile than just a redirector. Uh, so I can play this like an Amoongus. I can go... Uh, uh, protect, attack, rage powder, and spore. Or I can go uh, balls to the wall uh, offense with this because it's got a base 127 uh, attack stat. So it can do a lot of damage. Has dark and grass type with access to things like sucker punch, seed bomb. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to using this guy. It gives me, uh, starts my fire water grass core, also starts my um, fighting dark psychic core. And it gives me something that's fairly slow um, that can work both in and out of Trick Room, something similar to sort of the Alolan Marowak. Um, now it's got base 55 speed, so if I, uh, I can punch some investment of this and make it go burr under Tailwind, or I can uh, make it go slow as Buggery and uh, do something in Trick Room with it. Um, so that was uh, on our way down in the Snake, on our way back up. Um, I wanted to keep adding to my firewater grass core. Not that it's super important in Scarlet and Violet, but I just, you know, I thought it was somewhere good to start. Um, and so I picked up another sort of new guy, I guess, um, in the Paldean uh, Taurus uh, Aqua Breed. Um, it is my first compulsory tier two. Uh, gives me that Intimidate that I love so much. Uh, this made me really miss Hitmontop. Um, but this thing uh, hits like a truck. I didn't realize that uh, Game Freak actually min-maxed the shit out of this. Uh, they took 10 points out of speed, put it in attack, and also took 10 out of special attack and put it in defense. And this thing is, like, physically bulky. Base 105, base defense is nothing to laugh at, which means this thing can also run... Um, it doesn't have to run close combat, like, full-on offensive set. It can also run uh, something like a body press set, which, which could be interesting. Um, other abilities are... Um, anger point, which I could possibly use, and is it? I think it's Kunchu, um, or Sap Zipper. I think it's Kunchu, um, which let's face it, I probably won't use that. But you know, there might be there might be a scenario. Um, yeah, so I picked this because uh, San Diego Regionals was just on, and I think um, Paldane Taurus was like was twelve in the top sixteen or top thirty two or something like that, and um, I think ten of them was the was the water form. So I thought. Fuck, I better give this guy a go. Didn't realize that they um, min-maxed it so much. Had never looked into it. So I'm pretty stoked to get this guy. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, like a, a, a cornerstone piece to my team. A bulky water type that can hit um, fucking hard. Uh, next, we uh, had to go for my... I went for my second compulsory tier two. Kind of just went in order with my drafts. Um, just just picked what was, what was next in line. Didn't really, like I said, didn't really have a plan. Uh, so I went for Ye Old Faithful. I went Rotom Heat. Uh, this is my most drafted Pokemon ever. Um, and with good reason. It's like decently bulky and it hits decently hard. Uh, completes my Fire, fire Water Grass Core. And um, uh, just gives me like a levitating Pokemon. Uh, I always like to make sure I have at least one or two Pokemon that are off the ground so people can't just spam Earthquakes against me. And uh, with Rotom Heat, you can't really spam Disquake against me either because um, because it is levitating and it does resist uh, electric as well. Um, so like that c can be like a supportive piece, can be like a bulky offensive piece, or can be like hyper-offensive. So super keen on using this guy. Um, uh, 
tier, uh, my fourth pick overall, I went into tier three. I actually got a brand new Pokemon, and we got Rabska. Rabska is a bug and psychic Pokemon, uh, fairly slow at base 45 speed. So this is going to probably be my primary trick room setter. Um, but has access to one of the new moves, which is really cool in the, in uh, Revival Blessing. Uh, so I can bring one of my Pokemon back to life at half HP, but the trade-off is it's only one PP. Um, has a uh, decent bulk, I think it's like 85 HP, 75, no, 75 HP, 85 defense, and 100 special defense. Um, so decently bulky, but also has base 115 special attack. So... You know, it's no slouch in the offensive department. Um, so it's another reason why I kind of got this. I didn't just want a trick room set of that that set tr set trick room and then was kind of uh, passive. I wanted something that could hit hard. And I think with base 115 special attack, I'm going to be able to do that with with Rabska. Um, plus, if my opponent is playing quite passive, I can just uh, revive one of my dead Pokemon. Um, so I'm 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 looking forward to giving this 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 dude a bell. Um, Next Pokemon, Tier 3. So I stayed in Tier 3. I was going to go for Tinkaton, which is a new Pokemon. It's a Fairy Steel type. Um, but literally, the person before me picked up T Tinkaton. So I didn't have a panic attack, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought maybe Berserker, but then my Trick Room mode starting to be a bit, a bit weak to fire. So I went with Salazzle. I've used Salazzle and Slender before. Really fast fake out. Um, but and has access to uh, awesome amounts of um, uh, stat uh, not status moves, uh, support moves uh, in Acid Spray, which is new to it this generation. One of my favorite poison moves, got Toxic, got Will-O-Wisp, got Helping Hand, got Taunt. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be uh, super, super useful. Uh, hits really hard on the special side, things like Overheat and, and Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, and, and that sort of thing. Um, does Brent give me a four times weakness to, to ground, but like I've got Rotom and Brute Bonnet and some other Pokemon coming up, so I don't think that is too much of an issue. I am double up on double doubling up on the uh, Fire type, um, but they they play very differently, um, so I'm okay with it. And it has Fake Out, so it, Rotom doesn't get Fake Out, so fuck yeah, Fake Out. Um, so that. I've still got compulsory tier four I need to pick up, but I don't pick that up yet. I'm going back to tier two. Um, I wanted, I've got a lot of offensive pieces, um, even my support pieces like Salazzle is like, still hits really hard. Um, so I wanted something that could, uh, you know, support my whole team. Um, and so I picked up Sableye. Sableye has got the prankster ability. It's also a ghost type, so it can't be faked out. It's also a dark type, so it can't be prankster taunted itself, which means that it gets at least one annoying attack off. Um, and it gets access to screens this generation. Uh, last generation, it was not a prankster screen user. Generally, it was something uh, like Quash, Fake Out, will o that sort of thing. Um, oh, and lots of trigger eject button sort of crap. But this generation, we um, it gets it gets pranked to screen. So that could be quite useful. Especially since my team's quite bulky, it's just going to make it even more bulky. On top of that, you add like prankster will o -wisp, um, and this thing's going to be annoying. Uh, also gets, um, uh, what's that move? Skill swap. So, you know, I don't have to run um, Prankster. I could run something like Stall and then Prankster, uh, sorry, not Prankster, uh, Skill Swap Stall onto one of my opponent's Pokemon. That could be pretty funny. So uh, be careful, opponents. I, I may bust that out. So that was my first free pick. My second free pick, I went back up to the tier one. I was hoping to get uh, one of the new Pokemon, Garganackle. Because um, again, it did really well at the San Diego Regionals. It won it. Um, and I just really like its move, Salt Cure. Um, especially since like I used a lot of Colossal in, in Gen 8. Uh, Garganackle um, functions differently, but has sort of that same outcome of this uh, chip damage happening every turn. Um, but it was picked. It was... Uh, picked just before me, so I end up going with Dragonite as another tier one. Dragonite has been really picked up with usage in this generation purely because of Terra Normal Extreme Speed. Um, also is another really good um, form of speed control is like in Tailwind, um, and it has inner focus, so you, you can't fake it out to, to get the, um, before it can get the Tailwind off, so you have to knock it out or, or taunt it before it can um, 
uh, to stop it getting tailwind up. Um, but then again, it's also got extreme speed and just like punch in the face with that. So pretty pretty happy with that. Again, bulky offense. Um, you know, if I have multi-scale with screens, like th this thing's going to be like impossible to take down. So yeah, super looking forward to using my, my, my boy Dragonite. Um, uh, so that was my uh, backup T1. So next oxygen, um, I've got uh, Rotom. So I wanted a ground type to kind of do that Disquake bullshit. Um, and so I could have gone something a bit stronger in tier two, but this is draft league. So it's fine to kind of pick something lower tier to give you overall draft something a bit stronger. So I went for a tier three um, pick and this guy I've wanted to use for a long time, but he wasn't in Gen 8. Um, and that is my boy Donphan. Um, so Donphan, uh, similar to the Brute Bonnet, like that sort of 50 base speed, um, can do something in Trick Room or can put some speed on it and let it crush souls outside of um, Trick Room. Has a base uh, 120 attack, has sturdy, so even though it's special defense is shit, um, it can still take at least one hit. Um, and then it's got a really good defense stat, so you could even do like body press shenanigans on this. Has access to my favorite move, also to Sable actually, in knockoff. Um, it's just such an annoying move. Uh, this isn't Little Cut where I think like knockoff is, is super good. Um, so I just think it's just good in, in, in regular. So yeah, pretty happy with my little Don fan. Uh, it gives me something else to go in Trick Room that isn't going to get dunked on by, by fire types. Um, and also it gives me that sort of disquake mode. Um, next is, uh, yeah, so Garganackle, uh, I really wanted it, not just for its salt cure, but also for its wide guard and that sort of thing, um, especially since we're not in a max format anymore, lots of spread moves, um, happen around the place, I want a, um, a, a wide guard user, um, but this Pokemon also boosts my, my damage output just by existing, um, and that's Stone Drawner. Um, so Stone Jordan has a terrible special defense stat, it's like 20, um, but it has like really good defense stat and like a pretty decent HP plus like a usable attack stat. Um, gives me wide guard, gives me a, a, a rock type, which means, you know, it's not weak to fire, so, you know, maybe I can do something with it in Trick Room, um, but that power spot is just going to like help me punch holes in things. Um, yeah, so I think this could be this could be pretty good. Like pair it next to the Dragonite and do some of that extreme speed shit. Like it's gonna be, yeah, um, taking lives. Plus then I've got that wide guard. I'm just I just don't have that salt cure like the, the Garganagle has. All the special defense that the Garganagle has. All the really slow speed like the Garganagle. So definitely like budget shit Garganagle. Um. So yeah, yeah, pretty happy. Pretty happy with that. Never played with it in Gen 8, but, but having that, that attack boost or damage boost, because uh, it's also special attacks, not just physical, physical attacks, uh, could be really nice. Um, so I've got uh, two picks left. I have a compulsory tier 4 and a um, uh, the points I had left over in my free picks. I could only get a tier 4. So we've got two tier 4s coming up. Um, what was I thinking with this? Um, I wanted a secondary trick room user. I wanted maybe a steel and fairy type. Um, uh, spoiler warning, I didn't get a steel or a fairy, which is very unlike me. Um, so my uh, second last pick, uh, tier four, was um, it's actually quite a beat stick for a, a tier four, is Kamala. So Kamala has um, it's base 65 speed, has base 150, special uh, physical attack I want to say has about a base hundred special defense so it's quite bulky on the special side of things <laughs> kind of makes up for my fucking stone joiner and Don fan um, uh, but you know I'm Australian so koala seems to, to fit quite quite well there comatose I'm not exactly sure of the how the mechanic works I'm gonna have to um, learn that before my first battle um, because it you can't be status but at the same time, you, 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 you count as having sleep, as being asleep. So I'm not sure, like, do I have to use sleep talk for this thing to be able to attack? Or can it attack normally? Anyway, I'm not even sure. Maybe it can't use rest because it's already, like, technically asleep. So I'm going to have to find out the comatose mechanics. I'm not 100% sure. But this thing, um, 
you know, hits hits relatively hard. Um, base sixty five speed, kind of kind of lame. Probably getting too fast for trick room now. Um, but yeah, yeah, can't really outspeed a lot of the faster options in in Tailwind either. So, um, but does have access to sucker punch, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it does have. I think it's probably got Trailblaze. I think it's called. It also also has rapid spin. So you know, there's some ways to boost its speed, um, and it has sucker punch, so that makes up for it too. So yeah, that, that could be. It, this is going to be an interesting one. Not exactly sure how I'm going to use it, but you know, it's there. Um, and my last pick is like a Sigurdry Trick Room Setter, um, but it doesn't really look like it, and it's also one of my, my NFEs, um, or my only NFE, and that is Haunter. So Haunter still hits like a fucking freight train. I think he's got base 115 special attack, base 95 speed, so you know, decently fast, good scarf user, has access to Icy Wind, Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Bomb, uh, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. Like can do all the things. Um, so it also has Trick Room, um, and and Will O Wisp. It's my fourth Will O Wisp user, so that's a, that can be potentially annoying for my opponents. Um, yeah, and like I, I see this guy coming regularly, especially since it's like levitating. Like I can put it next to Don Fan and get some earthquakes off or something like that. So it gives me three Pokemon off the ground that I can earthquake next to. So I'm 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 pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's my team, guys. Like, um. Sort of bulky offense, no real, um, like there's, there's typing synergies and stuff like that, but there's no real sort of modes. There's not a, um, a hail mode or a side spam mode or anything like that. I think I've just got like a lot of good, decent to good Pokemon uh, that have relatively good bulk, um, but still have relatively high um, attack stats, probably low speed. It's probably biggest weakness of my draft is sort of the, the speed tiers. Um, the slowest, my slowest mons aren't really the slowest mons and my fastest mons definitely are not the fastest mons. Um, but I do have, um, you know, a couple Trick Room users, Icy Wind users, I've got um, Redirection, I've got a couple Fake Out mons. Um, I've got Pranks to Quash on Sableye, which is, which is, which is dandy. Um, I can even uh, Trick Iron Ball, that sort of stuff to get even more speed control. Um, I've got a few Thunder Wave users, so I, th I think I should be able to still um, have sufficient speed control. Um, but in the end, I can just like out, out bulk people with, with screens and will o wisp and that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, I think I'm in a pretty good position with this team. Um, so yeah, that's my team, guys. Uh, no steel or fairy, which is like I said, really odd for me. Um, but yeah, that's it guys, it's me logging off. Hopefully I get to play some of um, my the people watching this video throughout the season. A lot of new people in, in GLDL this season, which is fantastic. We've actually got four divisions. Do we have four divisions? Oh, we had four divisions last season, but I feel like we've got more people still this season. Uh, we, we've probably talked about this and we do, but I'm a geriatric boomer, so you know, you get that. So anyway, that's me logging off. I'll see you all next time.